Today it's Le Clos Jordan's 2018 Chardonnay Le Grand Clos. Now look, um, 2018 is a mainly forgettable vintage. Hot, low yield, it ended wet, but it was the kind of vintage you wanted for early ripening grapes like Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. The, uh, the Grand Clos wines are back from a long hiatus. This is their second year, back in bottle with Thomas Batchelder at the helm. He, of course, of the Long Elevage, uh, aged 22 months, and yet shows lots of fruit here, but starts quite barrel-esque as far as I was concerned. Spice, peach, caramel smoke, and vanilla cream, but then, as it sits, it turns pineapple and tropical after about an hour in the glass. And that's where I went, yes, I really like this wine. It's a delicious wine to watch open or just age it a few more years, and I bet it happens on its own. That's the Le Clos Jordan 2018 Chardonnay Le Grand Clos. It's $44.95, and I give it four plus stars out of five. I'm Michael Pincus, the grape guy, for MichaelPincusWineReview.com. Join me again next week. We'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine. You've been watching the Ontario Wine Review with the great guy, Michael Pincus. Each week, I review a great wine from an unlikely place, Ontario, Canada. Visit my website, michaelpinkuswinereview.com, to see all the wine-related content, sign up for the newsletter, and now you can become a supporter through patreon.com slash michaelpinkus and pick up some great swag along the way. That's patreon.com slash michaelpinkus. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.